Hello family, welcome once again to Bex Flavor. I hope that you are having a great start of the year. So I'm back again with another video and today I am sharing with you this simple puff pastry breakfast or dessert idea. It literally takes 15 minutes and you're good to go, okay? So let's go straight into it. For this simple recipe, I am using the Startwatch puff pastry. Please make sure that you do read what your puff pastry requires you to do. So you have to take it out of a fridge to get room temperature before you start baking. And I've got some fruits and some other ingredients. I will list everything in the description box below. So to start off, I am just going to roll out the puff pastry. It is just too simple, okay, because everything is already done. You don't have to make any pastry of your own. And that is truly the beauty of this recipe. Once I have rolled this out, I'm just going to stretch it a bit and then making sure that everything is aligned properly. So I'm just going to cut off some excess dough. You can reuse this dough if you like, or you can just throw it away. And then I am going to equally cut this into four parts or you can leave it as two parts it's really up to you on what you're going to do or what shape you are trying to go for so now i'm just going to make a filling by using some strawberry jam and i'm just going to spread this on the dough like so and then i am going to put some strawberries on there as well and then egg wash it before I close it. But before I do that, I will make some incisions so that it can vent. I don't want it to explode whilst it's in the oven. So you do have to make sure that you make some holes so that your pastry can vent while baking. And then I'm just gonna seal everything up and get on and make the rest. It is truly very, very simple. You can add any fruits of your choice or anything that you like. That is how versatile this puff pastry is. So now I'm just going to make my cream cheese to also make a different type of filling and I'm using some full fat cream cheese with some powdered sugar and some vanilla. So I'm just going to mix this up until I have a sort of runny and thick consistency and that is the texture that I am going for. So again, I have got four equal parts. What I'm doing now is slightly cutting into the pastry. I am not cutting all the way through the pastry, okay? It's very important that you use light hand so that when the pastry puffs up, the middle bit will sort of stay on the bottom and then around the edges will kind of pop up, okay? So that's what I am trying to do. So please don't cut through the pastry. And then I am going to make some incisions in there so that again, it can vent while it bake. Then I am going to put my cream cheese in there just to spread it on top of it enough you can use more or less it's entirely up to you you can simply omit this step and just use any filling of your choice okay you can even use meat to make sort of like a meat pie or sausage meat to make a sausage roll the possibilities with this puff pastry is truly truly endless okay so it's up to you on what you like or what you like to experiment with okay Then I'm just going to top this up with some strawberries, you know, cream cheese and strawberries are a match made in heaven. It tastes so good together, okay? And 
and then I will just give the edges a quick egg wash and I'll move on to my next one. So for the next one, I am just going to give a quick egg wash and I'm going to be using the apple and cinnamon. I think this was my favourite one. I just love apple and cinnamon together. It is just too good. Okay, so I'm just going to lay the apples on there like so. Then sprinkle this with some soft brown sugar and some cinnamon of course, a match made in heaven. Don't forget to make some incisions so that again it can vent, you don't want your puff pastry to explode in the oven, okay? So seal this up to make sure that nothing opens while it bakes. After I finish sealing it, I will give it an egg wash and then I will sprinkle some brown sugar on top of it for a nice crunchy effect after it finishes baking, okay? Then I'll put this in the oven on 160 degrees for about 15 minutes okay but please do check the packet of your puff pastry on how long to bake this for okay and it will come out looking so so good all right now if you made it so far in this video and if this is your first time on my channel my name is becca and i'd like to give you a very very warm welcome please make sure that you do subscribe before you leave and become part of the bex flavor family okay now look at how nice and simple this recipe is definitely give this recipe a try and tag me in any of the social media platform i'll be there to see it okay make sure that you do subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed and comment below and let me know if you will be trying this i am having this with some more cream cheese mm, so so good okay don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like this video share with everyone and i will see you in my next video bye